Hi guys, welcome to this extra video. So we have our beautiful horse trailer and we hooked up recently a camera system in it. Well, I have a surprise for you. Today in the mail, we got digital wireless backup camera model FX12 from FX Technology. We are gonna hook this camera system up in our friend's horse trailer, you know Barn Boots. Well, we're gonna set this up on a truck and trailer combo. He has a Dodge Ram, a 2022 Dodge Ram, and a newer Gooseneck horse trailer, and we're gonna set it up on his horse trailer, and let's get started. So we are gonna install this in the trailer, and what it comes with is a uh, seven inch monitor. It comes with this backup camera that you can put on the license plate, but because we have a 2022 Dodge Ram pickup, we already have a backup camera, but this is gonna go where I like to put it on the back of the trailer so that we can see what's behind if we're backing up in the trailer. It also comes with this uh, other camera here. And this one we were gonna put inside the trailer so we can see our horses while we're driving. Comes with all the clips and everything you need to hook up this to your vehicle. They have lots of other different models. You could get a camera system without the backup camera or you can get just the uh, extra cameras. You can put it anywhere you want. Yeah, you can put on RVs anywhere you, you think it would go best. But we're gonna put this in our horse trailer yeah, and here's a seven inch monitor. Well, the only problem I see that might happen is that uh, because we are using this, it would easily be put on where the trick, where the license plate would be. But because we already have a backup camera on the truck, we're gonna try and put this on the trailer. And it's probably gonna be at the top of the trailer. But the good thing about this is you can adjust the camera angle so you can see what you're looking at. All right, so let's get to installing this camera system. First, we're going to get the brackets and we're gonna hook up the monitor. So there's the monitor. We're gonna hook up the back plate to the monitor. We're gonna get these little things and screw them into the monitor. Flip the monitor around, put the bracket in. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna use the suction cup and place it right there on our little console of our Dodge Ram pickup. And take the plastic screen off the cover and put the sun plate where we can stop the glare and see the screen. In our horse trailer, we have to take the panel off the top corner. The camera's gonna go here so we can see both sides of, in the trailer. And then we're gonna run the cable along through these existing places and connect it over there to the trailer wiring. Now these are already pre-cut. So following the lines from the trailer, we're gonna use the green wire. It's gonna be the power and the white is the ground. So we're going to connect the black wire to the ground, which is the white wire, and the red wire to the green wire which is the power. And now we fasten the camera to the trailer and we're gonna screw it in and connect all of these four little rivets and screws and screw it in and then angle it properly. Just gonna tighten these up a bit. Do the other side. Now we're gonna run the wire along through those that we had preset before. We're gonna run the cord along there. We're gonna use zip ties and tie these up and keep it nice and tight so nothing can grab at it. Wires are all hooked up so we're gonna go turn the power on the truck and see what we can see. Got the power on the camera, we're gonna pair it. Uh, I think these already come already paired, but we're gonna pair it uh, just by clicking the pair button and wait. Three, two, one, and 
Bingo! Now we're just gonna clean up this little wiring here. to cut a little bit off so I can put the plate back on before I screw it back onto the trailer. So we'll just make it nice and a little bit neat there. I'm gonna zip tie the wires tight. Um, now I couldn't put it uh, these wires anywhere else because they're all riveted at the top so this is the best solution was to use these little uh, stick-on zip tie clips that you might need to get from your local supply store hardware store or at I got them from Kane Tire and it's all done once we get the back set up we'll put all this up and put all the finishings on okay this normally goes in the license plate holder but because the license plate is on the door we can't use it so we have to put it above the door and pretty much that's the only spot where we can put it. So what we did here was we drilled a hole through the trailer from the back and fished the wire through and clamped it on to one of the power lights. And then all that extra cord we're going to wrap up and put in the back. Once we're all done and make sure that it all works, we'll put all that plating back up. We're screwing uh, on the front plate. Now we're gonna put all this back up and hide all the wiring. And there you have it. It's all covered back up and we're gonna get the system working. Now we're driving down the road and you can see how crystal clear the screen is and the camera is picking up the crystal clear images of the road behind us and we can see it's very beneficial because then we can see what's behind the trailer while we're backing it up as well. Um, this also supports a DVR recording so we can record simultaneously as we're driving. See the little red light blinking there? We're recording as we're driving. And uh, we could also split the screen so we can see both cameras on the same monitor. Here we are, we're driving and we can see the horses in the back eating all their hay, you know, very comfortable. We know what's going on in the back and we can see what they're doing at all times. Sometimes it's important to see this because, I mean, I like to know what's going on in the back. Sometimes they're stomping or doing things when you're stopped and you would like to see what they're doing and make sure they're okay while you're driving too. This also has a night vision function. The camera has super strong IR cut intelligence switching night vision function. So at nighttime you can see really good at night and you could see a distance of 32 feet. So if you're driving during the day or at night, you can see what's in your trailer, which is super awesome. Thank you FX technology for your camera system. And if you want to get your hands on a camera system, check out their website. I'll put the link down below and they have so many different models to choose from and varieties to choose from. The system we used was for a backup camera and one other camera, but you can buy so many different options. Check out their website and thanks for watching. See you later. Bye. Don't you know that you're beautiful?